Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on hydrostatic forces on surfaces. So in this video, we are going to solve a problem about curved surfaces submerged in liquid. So first, I will read what is the given problem. Find the magnitude and direction of a resultant water pressure acting on a curved face of dam which is shaped according to the relation y is equal to x square by 9 as shown in figure. The height of water retained by the dam is 10 meter. Consider the width of dam as a unity. So this was the given question. Let us first understand what is the given diagram. So here is the structure of dam which is having curve AB and the equation of curve Y is equal to X square by 9 is given. So we can also write this equation X square is equal to 9Y and what is the simplified form that is X is equal to 3 under root Y. Now here is the water that is given and this water is in contact with this curve AB. So what is the height of this free water surface that is equal to 10 meter and that is also given and what is the width of this dam that is equal to 1 meter. Now we have to find out what is the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. So what is the force that is getting applied by this water on this curve AB. So I will show here this because here is the on outside of this curve there is the water and that is the pressure is getting applied or we can say pressure force is getting applied. So this is the curved surface so this force is also in the inclined direction. Now we have to resolve this force into two components that is the horizontal component and vertical component. So I will resolve this this is the horizontal component Fx and this is the vertical component Fy. Now we have to first find out what is the value of fx and what is the value of fy. So we will first find out what is the value of fx. So how to find out this fx. So fx is the pressure due to water of this curve ab projected on vertical plane up to the free surface of water. Now here the word free surface of water is important because we have to take the vertical plane up to the free surface of water that is at height is equal to 10 meter. So how to project this curve ab on the vertical plane. So here I have drawn this three dimensional diagram. So here I have shown with this line this is the structure of the dam and here this is the point A and point B. Now for this point A and point B we have to draw the vertical plane. So how to complete this three dimensional diagram with the help of the width that is equal to 1 meter that is given. So this is the width. So along this width we have to complete this two curves are there that are parallel to each other and this width is equal to 1 meter. So when we complete this three dimensional structure now we have to complete the vertical plane. That means we have to draw here one line horizontal passing through this point A and here one line vertical passing through this point B and here is the point of intersection that is point C and then we have to complete this three dimensional diagram. So this is the area that is BLNC that is the vertical plane. Now how to calculate fx that is rho g a h bar. So what is the area A? So for that we have to take the area for this vertical plane. So we know that what is the width? Width is equal to 1 meter and what is the height? So height is this vertical distance that is B to C that is equal to 10 meter. So this is the rectangular shape. So we have to take this BC multiplied by NC that is the multiplication of two sides that we have to take. So area can be calculated. Now what is the h bar? So h bar is the distance of center of gravity point from the free surface of water. So here is the free surface of water and on this curve AB at the middle point there is the center of gravity point that is G. So how to calculate this distance from the free surface of water? That is this total distance that is this total distance of the vertical distance of this curve which is in contact with water divided by 2. So we have to consider the area only in contact with water. 
सो हियर वी विल टेक एच बार इज इक्वल टू दिस टेन डिवाइडेड बाय टू व्हिच इज इक्वल टू फाइव मीटर सो व्हेन वी पुट हियर ऑल द वैल्यूज रो इज इक्वल टू डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर वन थाउजेंड जी नाइन पॉइंट एटी वन एरिया टेन एच बार फाइव सो व्हेन वी पुट ऑल दिस वैल्यू वी विल गेट फोर लैक नाइंटी थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन विच इज इक्वल टू एफ एक्स नाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट वॉट इज द वर्टिकल कॉम्पोनट एफ वाई दैट इज द वेट ऑफ वॉटर एनक्लोज बाय दिस कर ए बी सो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट इट सो फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट ए देअर इज द हॉरिजोटल लाइन वी हैव टू एक्सटेंड एंड फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट बी वी हैव टू टेक द वर्टिकल लाइन सो हियर इज द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन दैट्स वाई दिस पॉइंट दिस कर ए बी इज गेटिंग एनक्लोज दैट इज ए बी सी सो वेट ऑफ वॉटर इन दिस कर एनक्लोज बाय दिस कर ए बी दैट वी हैव टू टेक that means we can also that, uh, say that weight of water in the portion a b c so how to calculate it so weight of water means what rho into g into volume of this portion a b c so volume means what area of this a b c multiplied by width so we know that width is 1 meter so here is the three dimensional diagram so how to calculate this area a b c so if we observe this three dimensional diagram here width is 1 meter but we ha we have to fi find out what is the area for this a b c so for that we will make here one construction so for this area we will consider here one small strip in the horizontal direction so i will draw here this is the small strip which is having length x so i will show this is the horizontal distance that is this x for this small strip and vertical distance so vertical distance we will consider here as a dy so this is the dy so now we will first find out what is the area for this small strip strip so we know that this is of rectangular shape so we can say that for rectangular shape x multiplied by dy that is the horizontal line multiplied by vertical line that we that is equal to area of this strip now we have to give the limit because we have to find out the area from this point b to point c which is having from a distance 0 to 10 so we will take the limit for this area from 0 to 10 for this area of the strip so how we can write here that is rho into g into volume of abc which is equal to 1000 into 9.81 into area of this portion abc into width so width is unity so we have to take here 1 and for this small strip we have to consider limit from 0 to 10 x dy so now we have to solve this so x dy is there now we know that what is the equation of this curve so equation of this curve x is equal to 3 under root y so we will put here the value of this x that is 3 under root y so again we can write the integration from 0 to 10 3 under root y dy so we can take this 3 outside so here if we take this 3 outside and multiply with this 9810 then it will become 29430 and now what is the integration of root y dy so how we can write this root y that is y raised to half dy integration from 0 to 10 so y raised to n so for this n we can write y raised to n plus 1 that is half plus 1 divided by half plus 1 so that is 3 by 2 so y raised to 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 so this is the solution and we have to give the limits from 0 to 10 so again if we observe y raised to 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 0 to 10 so 3 by 2 is the constant term that we have to take outside and then what about this y raised to 3 by 2 and limit is from 0 to 10 so for that we have to first take here 10 raised to 3 by 2 so 10 raised to 3 by 2 minus now we have to take 0 raised to 3 by 2 so if we observe here the only term we have to consider now 0 raised to uh, 3 by 2 that is equal to 
zero. So we have to take here the only term ten raised to three by two. And what is the value? That is thirty one point six twenty two. And here remaining calculation is nineteen thousand six hundred twenty. So what is the answer? Six lakh twenty thousand four hundred thirty nine newton. So this is the value of F Y. Now, how to calculate the resultant force F? So we know that F is equal to under root of F x square plus F y square, and we have calculated value of F x and F y. So what is the answer? Seven lakh ninety thousand nine hundred seven newton. Now we have to also calculate what is the direction of this force F. So this is the force F. Suppose we consider that is in the inclined direction. Then here is the F x. That is the component of force F, and here is the F y. That is the vertical component of force F. So we will consider here that angle will be theta. That is the angle of inclination of this force F with the horizontal line. So how to solve this? So this F y I will draw here with this dotted line. So here is the F y. So in this right angle triangle, we can say that tan theta is equal to this F y divided by F x. So now we can put here the value of F y and value of F x. Then what we get here? One point two sixty five. So theta is equal to tan inverse of one point two sixty five, and the answer is fifty one degree forty minute.